Active in the building, good friend of mine, good friend of Pox. Yeah. Stretch, how are you, sir? Right, no, you brought Nate in the building. Yeah, yeah. Um, now ten years. It's been ten years since a good friend of yours and uh, an icon of hip hop was taken. How, how have you dealt with it over the past ten years? I mean, it's just it's just been a beautiful thing to see how his music and his legacy lived on. Right. You know what I mean, because you can't tell nobody it ain't like Pox still here putting out new records. Mm -hmm. You know, so. It was a beautiful thing that, that we still get to grasp and hold on to, you know, what most of us love the most, which was the music. Right. Now, you, over that period of time that, that you are, were friends, you, you watched him change and, and morph and from different things to different things. What was early, early Pac like? Early like Pac? Like Juice Pac. <laughs> early Pac, see, that, it was one of, that was one of the tr transition times. Right. Because Pac went, we went from... Young, out on the road, uh, roadies. Mm -hmm. He was a roadie for Digital Underground, right. me for Queen Latifah. Mm -hmm. So it was all fun and games. We carrying bags, we got from mm -hmm. DM. Right. We like, man, we on the road, we out the hood. So everything was just a beautiful time like that. Then we got more to the music and mm -hmm. coming out and then the film juice came out and everything else. So when we start seeing the politics, that's when we start knowing this is a business. Right. We, we gotta stop clowning and be serious now. Now, a lot of people, uh, that movie Juice in, in particular, a lot of people mark that as a, t a, a period or a timeline in, in Pac's life where he started to change. Um, and some people actually say that he took on some characteristics of Bishop, the character he played in the movie. How do you feel about that? No. Mm -hmm. Now, Pac was one of the realest, like he said, that was out. See, they never saw, you know, him come up. They don't know his background. They don't know he was a baby Black Panther. You know, right. he, he's from that era. That's in his blood. They don't know how he was a soldier. They don't know when he was in the, in the bay, in the streets, how right. he was living, what he was doing. So, mm -hmm. Pac, for him to give Bishop that role where people actually seen him for years and call him Bishop. It wasn't even a Tupac. <laughs> when you make people believe it like that, right. you know you, you was on your P's and Q's. Now, if you could de describe Tupac in three words, what would they be? Uh, a leader. Mm -hmm. A great spirit. And a loyal soldier. That's what's up. And that's four words. <laughs> so okay. You know. Put them together. Yeah. Know that's what's happening. My man Tretch is up in here. Let's get, let, let's have some fun with Pac right now. Yeah, yeah. This video right here was off the chain. Uh -huh. It was one of the world's first introductions uh -huh. to him. And this joint is one of my favorite joints. Here's my man Tupac. I get around. That's how I get around. Y'all know what it is. Rap City. We doing it up for Pac today. Put your tools up. No matter where you are at home right now, throw your tools up. Ten years. Ten years we've been missing you, Pac, and we still listening to you. We still hearing you. We still rocking at the parties to you. And we still paying attention to your every word. My man Tretch is in the house. Yes, sir. Good friend of Pac. Yes, sir. Um, now, you actually have a Pac tattoo somewhere, don't you? Yeah, yeah, for sure, okay. man. Had to get a love, keep his name on the streets. It took six hours. Wow. That's, that's the soldier. Now what you can't we can't really make out what does it say underneath it? That's DTH mob, that's down the hill. That's okay, Jersey. that's you, something you, else. You, you, know. <laughs> you know. But what what was it what about Pac and or your friendship was so powerful to make you put him on your arm? That's forever. Because we was we was down like that before we had a record deal. Mm -hmm. Before we had movie offers. Right. We was we was straight up broke. We came from from that. To coming out worldwide, right. doing it on on both our scales, like homies that got the same dream and come out and both of them accomplish it. Right. And we done mobbed and back to back barroom brawls and right. you know the whole <laughs> nine. And we was like brothers from another mother. We always said that, so that's why I was that deep. That's that was sure. a soldier. Speaking of mothers, let's get into one of his more intellectual, more uplifting records, and you can feel his pain on this joint right now. Here's Tupac. Dear mama. Love you, Feeney. Yes, indeed. Rap City, Big Tigger. Trench in the building. Yeah. For the memory of Pac, we're here today Jersey. celebrating. Yeah. Um, I need to know your favorite Pac memory. Favorite Pac memory. Um, well, there's so many, but I'll say one. Mm -hmm. Um, was Juice. I remember filming Juice. Right. And when he was going up against Rodimez and them gang. Right. Like how they was trying to tell Pac, yo, 
You know, we gonna do the shooting scene in the alley. Well, he's like, all right, I got it, I got it. They tell him where to aim and how far to be back because there's blanks in the gun, but they burst out. Right. Pac, I got it, I got it. So he all up in there, he talking like Muhammad Ali to Rodham Man. Ooh, I got something for you, I got something for you. <laughs> right. So he go up in there, he already nervous already because he know Pac. So they shoot the scene and Pac go directly where they tell him not to go. And like put it like up by his neck and shot and he like burnt. Like skin off his neck and everything. Oh, Pac's neck? No, oh, Pac, the Rodman man Bishop shot, shot him in the alley. If you look real close really? to the to the movie, mm -hmm. you'll see him go and hold his neck, and that was all real. Wow, okay. That was all real. Your favorite Pac video? Uh, video had to be California Love. Mm. Mad Max theme, him and Dre, they was up. It seemed like a, they was on a whole different planet. Just the production of that and that song, as hot as it was, like, yeah, California Love. And tell us something about Pac that most people didn't know. Mm. Well, most people probably didn't know about Pac is where he was headed in the next 10 to 20 years as far as... Pac, like I said, he was, he was, he was a soldier. He was more of a revolutionist. Mm -hmm. He knew, and he was a baby panther. Right. So his whole thing, he was going to get the masses of thugs together because mm -hmm. he knew once he had the thugs under him, he could take them wherever he needed to take them. Mm -hmm. And so his whole part was to get them up in there and get them under his wing so he could take his. It was He had a whole like uh, urban development plans. He wanted right. to do schools for children, mm -hmm. all this type of stuff. So that's a part of Pac that was never seen and, and, and what he wanted to put down before he left. That's what's happening. Church is here. Y'all know what today is, right? September 13th, 10 years since we lost Pop. And we doing it up for him way big. Y'all stay right there. We coming back with more yeah. Rap City. Yeah. No doubt. Welcome back. Rap City. Big ticket trips. We holding it down. Today's date, September 13th, 2006. Thank you for joining me, homie. Thanks for having me. Good to see you. Yes, yes. Of course, today marks the 10-year anniversary of our loss. A hip-hop loss and a loss to everybody, really, of Tupac Shakur senselessly murdered out there in Las Vegas on the strip. Um, we miss him, even though we rejoice in his music, his lyrics, every day at the club, in the car. We still riding with Pop. Every day. That's what's happening. Yes, indeed. Shout out to the West West, y'all. DPGC. How y'all folks doing? That's what's up. We doing it up for Pop. I got two hot videos. You said it was one of your favorites, so I, I had to go dig in the box to get it. Got to do it. We're going to set it up with two of America's most wanted, mm -hmm. and I'm going to let you say what your favorite joint is again, because we just going to bang that out right here on Rap City. You know how it goes. We about to get down with the homie Tupac doing it real tough like with California Love, Dr. Dre, crazy on the track, Mad Max, Steam. You've got to look at it. Yes, Trap City is going down. Big ticket trench. Yeah. Celebrating the lifetimes and music of Tupac. Um, told you. No doubt. Now, Pac's range. Uh, uh, earlier, I alluded to it as the the duality of Tupac, who mm -hmm. was thug life. Mm -hmm. But then he had keep your head up. He had Brenda's got a baby. He had how 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 does what how does an artist keep that and not sound hypocritical? I mean, it's just it's talent. It's just talent. It's like, he liked the, the Allen Iverson of hip hop. <laughs> okay. You know what I mean? He could dunk, he could go down here, lay it up, he could take the threes, right. he could, you know what I mean? And everybody say, well, he shouldn't do that, but he he do his numbers. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? He had all that inside, like I, I told you, he, he wanted to switch it up and get more on the, on the, on the social issues and the, right. and the things that were going on in the neighborhood so he could have Dear Mama, the Brenda's got a baby right. to Hail Mary. Right. You know, and have it all on one album and you ain't mad. Right. No doubt. You know what I mean? Now, in his passing, um, I believe I read somewhere that in, just in America, mm -hmm. he sold 20 million albums mm -hmm. since he's passed. Mm -hmm. So his influence is still felt. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, from murals to tattoos to other artists. Yeah. Um, speak on that a little bit. Why, why is his influence so strong? 10 years later. I mean, sometimes it takes time and it, sometimes it takes somebody to not be here anymore for you to really see how special that star was before it got dead. Right. You know, so you got people, you know it's strong when, while when he was living, he had artists that he dissed then that after his demise, they redone his song. Mm. So that's an admiration in itself to let you know, even if, if it was a time where it was a beef or, or anything like that, man, at the end, you, you knew like that man was talented. Right. He was something special that, that we just lost, you know what I mean? Right. 
One of a kind. One of a kind. That's what's happening. One of a kind. Let's get into a, uh, another Tupac video right here. Uh -uh. One of his more socially conscious and uplifting records. Uh -uh. This joint right here is called Brenda's Got a Baby. We miss yeah. you, Pac.